Now, photographic artist Justin Cornell gets creative with pinhole cameras. This is the Watershed Gallery in Bristol, and there's an exhibition of my photographs entitled uh, Day in the Life of My Mouth. Pinhole photography works because light travels in a straight line, and when you restrict that light through a tiny pinhole, you get an inverted image, similar to that that's formed in the human eye or on film. Um, all you need is a light tight container, such as an aluminium can, don't use steel because it's a bit sharp. Um, and there I've got a tiny hole, about sort of a third of a millimetre in diameter, and light travels in through the hole, hits the film on the back, and then from that angle, from every angle, there's point of light which forms an image on the back. Make cameras out of matchboxes, use an orange once, that's quite good. Um, took a photograph of a carton of orange with an orange. But people have used loads of different bits and pieces. There's a guy who went and used a toilet once and he went and put a pinhole in the lid, put, toilet, put photographic paper on the bowl and then filled the system up with developer and developed it by pulling the flush. Your camera's in your head, you know, the camera itself is just a tool. So I got into pinholing and I have just been exploring loads of world firsts with pinhole photography ever since. And that can be anything from underwater pinhole photography, 360 degree pinhole photography, or building a little camera that for some reason can be which I discovered after I built it, can be fitted in one's mouth. You think, wow, here we go, so what do I do with this? And you think, right, let's um, see what pictures look like from inside one's mouth. Not everyone's mouths. I was teaching in Southampton a while back and one of the cameras got stuck in one of the students' mouths for a while. So uh, we have a photograph called trying to get a camera out of a mouth. I used a wheelie bin once as a camera, which was really nice, a giant portable camera which you can fit five foot by three and a half foot sheets of photographic paper in. Um, and that was quite special, uh, basically because it took about a day to do each picture. You had to cart it off on a bus or, you know, just sort of like drag it around the place. And it's really only after doing the pictures you start understanding what you're playing at. So you just do the pictures and don't listen to all these people saying things like, oh, you shouldn't because. And you ended up with a huge one-off picture and you can't get copies of them, it's just, you know, it's like having the negative but on giant five foot by three foot photographic paper size. So all of those pictures are quite, in a way, precious because they're all one-offs and can never be repeated. So I value that quite a bit, the wheelie bin approach to life. Justin Quinnell's photographs are on display at the Royal Photographic Society in Bath.